Hey everyone, my name is Pupsker, and today in the first Ascendant, I quickly wanted to talk about how you can farm Ultimate Lepic and Ultimate Viesa, because it's a huge meme right now, and I honestly would not recommend it in the open beta, because the amount of progress you have to get in the game to actually unlock Ultimate Viesa and Ultimate Lepic is pretty high and a huge pain in the butt for something that I believe gets unlocked and then deleted after the closed beta because it is a growth reward of flash burst you decide if it's worth it or not i don't know but hey here's how to get ultimate viesa and lepic you need to run every single one of these missions until you get the gold amorphous material this one drops the ultimate lepic spiral catalyst this one drops the ultimate viesa enhanced cell blueprint this one will drop the Ultimate Viesa Stabilizer Blueprint. This one, yeah, this one will unlock the Ultimate Lepic Enhanced Cell Blueprint. This one will unlock a couple, Ultimate Viesa Code and Ultimate Lepic Stabilizer Blueprint. And this one will unlock the Ultimate Lepic Blueprint and Ultimate Viesa Spiral Catalyst Blueprint. So you need to first unlock those from running the endless missions, right? You need to get the proper gold amorphous material, but that's not where it ends. Then you have to farm the drop from the amorphous material from the bosses. And guess what? Here's Death Bride, and she is what drops the ultimate Lepic enhanced cell blueprint. Remember, first you have to farm the amorphous material 9 and the amorphous material 12, because that's one is ultimate Lepic and Viesa. Then you have to farm Death Bride to get the drop from the amorphous material. And you have to do the same with Pyromaniac and Obstructor, because the other parts for Lepic and Viesa, the amorphous material is unlocked by fighting and killing those bosses. So not only do you have to farm the amorphous material, you then have to, if you hold L, fight Pyromaniac for the chance that it drops the item you need. You have to do the exact same for Death Br Dead Bride. Ugh. You have to do the same for Obstructor, and that is truly why this is such a massive pain in the butt. If you have a dedicated team, it's not terrible, because, you know, if you do have a dedicated team, most likely everyone's leveled and somewhat working together, so it makes it a little easier, and they synergize well together. But if you're just running Publix, not worth it, man. Not worth it at all. You're, it's just not worth it. All of your progress is really going to get wiped, so it's just such a far grind for not a huge pain. Payout. If you're leveling up your descendants, right, might as well farm for those items because how else are you going to level? The best way is really to just run the endless type missions while well, the five wave type missions there. So like go for it. But the chance that you're actually going to get the drops from farming afterwards, Dead ba Bride, Pyromaniac, as well as Obstructor is just so incredibly low, right? But if you want to, you can do it. After you finish farming that up and just bashing your head against the wall, the only other thing you would do, right, is just go over here to build it. And then, here's the thing, even then, the building requirements, the research requirements, I should say, for Ultimate Viesa is so high. 900,000, you have to build all of these, and they build at 450,000 gold each. You have to farm up a ton of Monite Stone, Metal Accelerant, Monad Shards for all of that, right? Like, look at that. Look at that. Need a ton of hypercubes, which essentially just means farm up all of the different endless areas, shoot open the, the like cubes and everything. But the chance you farm these up is so incredibly low unless you're going ham on the open beta. So while I don't think it's worth it, I'm kind of curious. Are you farming up for Ultimate Viesa or Ultimate Lepic? Have you farmed up for Ultimate Viesa or Lepic? Have you seen anyone who's bothered to do it? Because I imagine only like people who are no lifing, content creators, streamers, etc, etc, might bother going for it, but hey, I'm just curious, I'm not even gonna attempt it, I'm just gonna chill, have fun, make videos, and play the open beta. But let me know what you think, watch the other videos if you want to support the channel, like, subscribe, you can always use Epic Games creator code Pupsker as well, because I have an Epic Games creator code, so thank you, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you next time. Cheers!